Hey bunnies, welcome to another Naked Sunday video. Before we begin, go ahead and grab yourself a drink. What I'm drinking is Rum Runner and this is the flavor Cool Runnings. <laughs> but yeah, go ahead, grab yourself a drink, come back and let's talk. Okay, so for this video, if you guys follow me on Instagram, a couple, I want to say a couple days ago, maybe last week, I was talking about boric acid and bacterial vaginosis. And I did get a question about what the boric acid is and does and what bacteria, bacterial vaginosis is. So that's where the concept of this video is coming from. Boric acid, a lot of you may know it as a type of insect repellent. I probably should not say that in this video. At all, but um, here we are. It's not the best smelling thing in the world at all, but um, <laughs> when it comes to bacterial vaginosis, it really does work. Now, what these are, are the suppositories of the boric acid and you want to avoid getting it in your mouth close to your food, your drinks, or anything like that, because it could, you know, mess up your whole shit. But that's what they look like. Can I focus it? There we go. That is what they look like. Literal capsules, powder in the capsule, and you'd insert one of that into your vagina, and that will help to get rid of your BV. And for this one, this one is from Fresh Box, as you may or may not know, um, I am a, what's the word? Clearly too much room running my system. I am a brand ambassador. There we go, that's the word. I'm a brand ambassador for Freshbox, all right? And this is one of their newer products from the line. You get 25 capsules in there, you pop one in, you're good to go. This one, it says you're to use it, I believe, no more than three days. Yeah, not to be used more than three days continuously, but that is that. Now for the girls or the guys who don't know what BV is, BV is bacterial vaginosis. And how you'd get this, I did again make a whole post on my Instagram. If you follow me, you have seen it. If not, I'll put it here. You can get BV from a multitude of things, whether you douche, if you have an IUD, if your man uses, let's say, iris spring to wash his member and you guys have unprotected sex, it can throw off your pH and give you BV. If you have rough sex, you can get BV. If you have a partner who is very, very large, you can get BV. If you, it's a, I listed 10 things, but literally, you can get BV a number of ways. The most common thing, you can get BV from lesbian sex. If your partner has it and then both of you are scissoring, you can get it that way as well. It's not an STD. It's just the, the good bacteria that's in your vagina. There's like an overgrowth of it and it throws off your ish. That makes sense? And then how you know you have BV is if you have itching, burning, smelliness, that's a sign of BV. Not all three are all of them at one time, maybe like two or three at a time, you know you have BV. BV causes yeast infections, or BV can cause yeast infections. So BV is not a yeast infection because a yeast infection is overgrowth of yeast. Are, you, are we following? Okay. Bacterial vaginosis. Anyone can get it, whether you're sexually active or not. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> to treat BV, you can always go see your doctor, get something prescribed, or you could jump on the Freshbox website. Use my code FreshKissy454 to get 20% off your $20 or more purchase at checkout and get yourself some boric acid. Okay? Okay. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section below. If you have something to ask, you're too afraid to ask. Don't, no, <laughs> not don't. Feel free to send me an email or DM me on Instagram, Facebook, whatever the case is, and I'll respond as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace sign and kissy face.